about 30 to 40,000 gallons, probably 30,000 gallons a day. Well, that's what uh, grass is going to need to grow. So It's what makes the world go round, and right now, it's MIA from the area. I mean, everybody is, uh, across the whole region is struggling for the, with this summer. Some more than others. I was afraid you were going to ask that question. Um, we're like everybody else. We've lost a fair amount of grass. And the lack of rain is putting local officials on notice. To a watch um, kicks in when we get extremely dry conditions, kind of the beginning of a drought, and we're trying to um, reach out to the public, educate them on things they can do to, to conserve water. So how's the forecast shaping up? Hopefully, if we can get a little bit of rain over the next uh, couple of weeks or so, we'll look for improving conditions, but not a dramatic improvement. Riding through this Prince George's County golf course, the brown areas are easy to spot, adding a new element to the game. The golfers we spoke to were evenly split as to whether the weather conditions were a handicap to making par. It's giving me a false hope that I can hit par. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> I plan to do better second round. But some say it's all part of the sport. Every time you go out, there's going to be different variables that affect your game. And until the rain comes, cutting back is what really matters. Everybody has to do their part. In College Park, I'm Danielle Lama, reporting for CNS-TV.